Okay. Right, so I think um, that sort of covers that one off, uh, Carl. So once again, thank you very much. We didn't cover SVR. In, in uh, standard variable rates. Yeah. Um, well, do you want us to just, yeah, uh, yeah. let's do SVR now, I'm just going to round it up, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so a fixed rate is when you initially get into a mortgage, you'll pay a fixed rate for, say, one to five years. And that will be a fixed amount of growth of the bank at the time. Then you move on to the standard variable rate at the end of the five years, and that could go on between year five and year 35 which will be a slightly higher rate of interest. And as an investor, you would like more customers who are paying SVR than fixed because you're making more money off them for your investment. Um, and then that's, that's really what that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and of course, if you're sort of a risk averse kind of individual, yeah. you tend to go for the, the fixed rates rather right. than the standard variable. Um, although I think there are some people nowadays who have a fixed rate, which is actually less than what some of the standard variables are? Yeah, the, the, the Bank of England, when, when they, uh, they announced what's called the term funding scheme, and it allowed banks to lend mortgages very cheaply, cheaply. to the open mm. market. Uh, you took yours out during mm. TFS mm. in the last two years? Mm. I did as well, and I don't think mortgages have ever been as cheap as what they are now to take out for the first five years anyway. And you weren't the five-year fix as yes. well, didn't yeah. so, so me, It's not my financial advisor at age. Savvy, very, very savvy. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, and it just means that you're able to uh, pay the lowest amount on your mortgage for those first five years, whilst also making repayments on yeah. that mortgage too, yeah. which you'll get back when you sell the house, as long as you're not in negative equity, which means that the price of the house has fallen from what you bought it at. Usually house prices go up, or it's nice when they do, mm -hmm. and at the end where the customer sells the house, they get the money they've invested in the property back, and they make a little bit of profit on the sale as well. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's thank you for reminding me there, Carl, that's right. <laughs> to just finish that one. So once again, Carl, thank you very much. And that brings us to an end here on episode four. Perhaps we'll have more episodes in the future. Who knows? Um, it would be nice to possibly do that in the future to cover off one or two other things. But uh, in the meantime, thank you very much, just, Carl. Thank you.